Your Life in Sex Island, Chapter 4, Illustrious Immigration, Page 98. My goodness, how the politicians dream, perhaps hallucinate, and lie about immigration. They don't have any ideas, so they blabber about a border fence. Secure our borders, they all say. Very interesting, Sherlock. Here's what we've done so far. As I write this, Boeing is building a 28-mile demonstration virtual fence. It was supposed to have been done a year or so ago, but you know how those things go. You might as well milk the damn contract and ride the clock. 28 miles of a very funny fence to show us how it should be done. So far, it has cost $67 million, but it ain't done. The Mexican-U.S. border, I'm told, is about 2,000 miles, and that presumably is as the crow flies, or beeline if you prefer. If you follow the river, the border may wander another few hundred, maybe a thousand miles. But at 2,000 miles, the cost would be almost five billion dollars. Now remember Boeing's cost overrun for the space station was 26 percent. For Star Wars, National Defense, still not operational, the overrun was maybe 500 percent. Dizzying, misleading information from all involved. This privatization stuff is wonderful. Boeing doesn't get a contract like us Paul White trash. Boeing gets a blank check. Actually, as many blank checks as are needed. This is fine because we know with this honorable privatization stuff, they won't screw us. When I was doing project engineering, we project engineers couldn't be off by more than plus or minus 10 percent or we would have some mighty explaining to do and forget about any raise. Boston's Big Dig project was overrun by 484 percent. Ah, this privatization stuff is wonderful. That was another big, highly qualified engineering firm, Bechtel, and the Big Dig started falling apart before it was finished. So maybe the very funny fence will cost five billion dollars and maybe it will cost five trillion dollars. As a man who had an engineering company that didn't get paid for anything that was short of perfection, yes, I am envious. If that's the politics of envy, so be it. I'm envious. Get a girl pregnant with a cross-eyed furry imbecile, take no responsibility for the precious child, and have the girl's father pay you for your semen, well, that's wonderful, but it's just not how it worked in my neighborhood. So yes, I am envious. What's the difference what it costs? It's not going to work anyway. They stick some high-tech cameras and radar and motion detectors up on 100-foot towers. Oh, but they protect it with a chain-link fence at a six-foot radius all around it. Wow, can't go wrong with that. 100 feet tall. That's a third of a football field. When I was about 10 years old, we, my brothers and I, made slingshots, not like David's swinging basket type. We cut a Y from one of the hickory trees, cut a piece of leather belting for the saddle, cut some strips from an old inner tube. They were elastic in those days. Today I understand kids use surgical tubing. With a pocket knife, you could make one in an hour. Cost? Nothing. We found round stones along the railroad tracks. We could knock those glass insulator things off the telephone poles pretty regular. I know it wasn't nice, but I think the statute of limitations has done run out, so I can admit it now. One time, to my shock and shame, I killed a robin at about 200 feet. My oldest brother could kill a sputzy off the top of the barn from 300 feet with a 22 without putting a hole in the roof. Ah, uh, kids will have fun with those million dollar cameras. Oh, I wish I was still young and lived near the Rio Grande. God, that would be fun. You could see the dicks coming from a mile away, and you could just disappear into the mud. I know no adult could ever catch me along the Fox River when I did something bad. They would think that they had me surrounded, and I wouldn't be there. But we will build it. Full speed ahead. Damn the taxpayers. Purchase the book now by clicking on the link in the description below.